Hi, it's John here. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video on a, a tip, or something I uh, picked up from a, a site or looking up something along the way, and I thought, my God, how simple is that? I wish I'd thought of it. Um, you've brought seen the videos about tramming the uh, router spindle, and they all show sort of contraptions like this, easy tramming, you know, make a spindle thing like that, or the expensive one with maybe uh, uh, a gauge on it, you know, along those lines. Um, they're great, they will tell you if the bed is level when you put it in the spindle and you rotate it round. Um, what they don't do, and is the biggest issue, or at least the biggest issue I found, is um, they don't help you adjust this here. And the problem with this here is it's a big heavy weight. Uh, it's supported on uh, several screws normally. Um, and if you loosen the screws to try and adjust it, uh, invariably when you tighten them up it moves back to where it was or you know you can't remember exactly where it was from settings. There's no way to gently adjust it on its own and even more so if you, uh, you work on your own. So here's what you need. And that quite simply is a bit of scrap that it is ideally sort of 8 to 10 millimeters thick, it doesn't have to be huge. Uh, an off cut will do, this is a, a piece of bar, I've used this for all sorts. Uh, just see I cut a handle out for a, a door there uh, in the past. Um, and it actually formed the other half of a, a die I made uh, originally, uh, which is now my uh, Z-height set block. Anyway, I digress. So, an 8 to 10 millimeter block of aluminium and you need to make yourself a cam nut. Now cam nuts for uh, 3D printers are widely available, there's dozens of them on the uh, internet. The trouble with them is they quite often advertise themselves as being uh, six millimeters but what they mean is they're six millimeters deep. Um, the trouble with they tend to be is actually a five millimeter or for an M5 bolt and they tend to be far too small. Uh, for adjusting the uh, cams on these CNCs, particularly this 2.2 kilowatt um, water cooled motors uh, and the mounting block they come with. So you need uh, an M6 bolt sized cam nut uh, and so this is what we're going to make today. So I'll just get this set up and then we'll get it cut. Right, I've got the uh, block on, I'll try and uh, leave this going uh, for the first cup, but then I'll put the uh, the cover on and turn the vacuum on. It just heals up some of the chips, keeps a bit cleaner. So just bear with me, I'll get this going.
Okay, hasn't quite gone through in that depth setting, but uh, that basically is a cam nut. And when it's peeled out and cleaned up, it will look something like that. And as you can see, from the centre hole there, the hole is slightly off centre on the cam. And it's this eccentricity that allows you to easily manipulate and adjust and tram your spindle by fitting it to one of the nuts on the thing. You can gently loosen then each of these nuts so that it's only just slightly, uh, you know, so it's still snug so it doesn't actually slip when you're trying to adjust it. And then fractions of uh, millimeters of turns on these, um, on the cam nut will adjust uh, the spindle in the uh, plus or minus direction. You can fit two, I've seen some of them with have two, one on the upper and lower bolts, um, but to be honest with you, the bottom one uh, adjusts it. And it's a very simple then to, you know, one person can quickly uh, check how straight or how uh, vertical uh, the spindle is. So that is my top tip if you want a very fast and very easy way to adjust your spindle and you've got one of these Chinese uh, spindle holders make yourself a cam nut it can take uh, what's that about three minutes in total of cutting time if that um, easy enough to do a little bit of tidying up depends on how clean you want it I mean uh, uh, the one I've got there I never bother tidying that one up it's it's functional I'm not looking for it to be aesthetically clean it's all right on that side I did make the, the uh, Head a bit big on this one. I found out that the um, the gap between the head of the bolt and the uh, edge of the spindle holder was different for each hole. Typically, they weren't drilled uh, exactly square. Uh, so when I measured it for the ones at the top, the one on one side, um, I allowed for plenty of room. Of course, when I came to fit it down here, it didn't fit. One of those things. Um, so I've just made the, the new one a little bit smaller, but it's the same sort of thing anyway. Uh, so there you go. Make yourself an eccentric nut. You'll enjoy it. Cheers.